how to interpret three-point Likert scale based on the mean scores. First, we need to code the three-point Likert scale from one corresponding to low value like uh, strongly disagree, two to moderate value like neutral or sometimes, and three to higher values like high, often, or strongly agree. So this is the code book that we need to uh, follow. Next, we need to define the range. So from one to three, so the range is two, and the interval is we took two divided by three, and the uh, this equals 0. 0.666, and we can round it to 0. 0.66, that's it. And after that, we can interpret the uh, three-point Likert scale uh, overall mean score uh, according to these ranges from 1 to 1.66. This corresponds to low value from 1.67 to 2.33. This corresponds to moderate value. And from 2.34 to 3, this corresponds to high value or whatever the label that you put here. That's why it's very important to code them from the lowest value given the lowest number to the highest value given the highest number so that the statistics, the overall mean score or the summated score make sense. Anyways, let's just uh, define what the mean score is. So this is the average of the values given in a set of data and the mean is the sum of all the values divided by the total number of values. Suppose that we have some statements and we need to compute their mean score. So we have uh, the first one coded as three corresponding to let's say often or always. The second one is coded as one. The third one is coded as two and the fourth one is coded as three. So we just uh, sum all of these, we, do, we group them together like this. And we divide them by the number of instances. We have one, two, three, four. So we divide them by four and we get the weighted mean score. And this table explains the range that we will get from one to 1.66. This corresponds to low. From 1.67 to 2.33, this corresponds to moderate. And from 2.34 to 3, this corresponds to high. And you see the difference is 0 0.66, which is the range that we explained earlier. And there is no bias unlike other scales, especially five-point Likert scale or four-point Likert scale, where there could be some biases here. This is uh, an example of how you can report that in EPA style. You put the number of items, the uh, items per se, or the statements, their mean score, their standard deviation, and you can rank them based on this overall mean score. And then you can put just you can just put the verbal interpretation here corresponding to the. Uh, content of the Likert scale and you can also get the overall composite or mean score. Uh, so this is in brief how you can do that in APA style. So this is a reference that uh, you can consult if you want. And let's move to the practical example on SPSS. So this is SPSS, we have data view and variable view. In the data view we have the items here and the respondents here or the people who answer here. So suppose that in the first item, the first respondent says that this is always the case. We call it as three. Not then the second one, he says, uh, or she says, uh, sometimes call it as two, etc. The same for this item, two, one. I'm just entering this uh, randomly. So here I have these two variables. So I can, get, I can just go to the variable view, give them names like item one, item 2 and here I can just uh, label them three point Likert scale I need to code it based on the code book that I explained to you for example one referring to low and the uh, two moderate frequency for instance and three high frequency This is three, we can say hi and click OK. Now I go to analyze and then descriptive stats or statistics, then descriptives. I will move these two items here and I will click OK. 
And here is the table. So it contains the end, meaning the sample size, the minimum, the maximum, the range of the liquid scale, and the mean. So based on this mean score, I can give the interpretation. So 2.66 uh, corresponds to high uh, degree, and 2 corresponds again to a moderate degree, based on the table that we used at the beginning to explain this. This is in brief how you can analyze three-point liquid scale and interpret the results using the weighted mean score. If you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below, and see you soon. Bye for now.